Hello, so in this video we're going to take a quick look at uh, oxycetylene torches and uh, a couple of different things you can do with them. So uh, the first thing we'll talk about is uh, for safety. So you should have check valves and flashback arresters on your torch if they're not already built into the torch. So I have a, a Victor brand here, they're firepower. They're good for five years. You can test the check valves uh, by immersing them in water at a a low gas pressure. If you read the instructions, it'll tell you how to do that. And uh, like I said, they're good for five years, so you should write a date on the package when you put them in. They're uh, they're not cheap. You could get uh, versions on uh, eBay for much less, but uh, I wasn't uh, prepared to go for that uh, savings uh, in this case. So I do have a cheap torch. I got pretty good hoses actually. And uh, I guess we'll take a look at uh, the bottles here. It's got a few different uh, bottles for uh, shielding gases and then the oxy on the uh, green hose, the acetylene on the uh, red hose. You'll see on the red hose that there's a, uh, a mark. I'll look on the torch to show you. But the uh, reverse threads are identified on the torches. I just have the gases set to something random so don't uh, bother looking at that. I do have a, a fairly old acetylene tank with a strange square. So I had to find this on eBay. Couldn't find one locally. But you always leave the tool in the uh, tank so that you can turn it off immediately if something ridiculous happens. And uh, you should have flashback arresters and check valves on your regulators as well. That's something I haven't invested in yet because I haven't found them. But I know that they're out there. So I'll put that on because if you're to burn off a hose, you're going to kind of want that. Go back to a torch setup here. So the other thing I wanted to show you is how to you can light a torch. So rather than using a flint, you can get a piezoelectric lighter. This one is from... Uh, APA. I think I've seen them with a couple different brands. You can find them out there if you see, search for PG Electric. Just a barbecue lighter. It's just got a 9 volt battery in it and uh, an on off switch. So you wouldn't want to pick it up and uh, give yourself a jolt. This could happen. So you're not supposed to use uh, a lighter or matches a, to start one of these. So uh, back what I'm talking about, you see here there's a mark that's telling you it's a uh, reverse thread versus the uh, air, or oxygen rather. So it's funny, I was at work today and I saw someone had written reverse on all of the uh, fittings that were reverse thread. I guess they hadn't been uh, made aware of this, which is kind of concerning that they might be using this equipment. And then these are the flashback and check valves, just right there. And fire it up, you're just gonna just lay the torch down. It's plenty heavy. So you turn on the gas. Away you go. So that makes it pretty easy to light. You're not fumbling around wasting gas. Another thing I'd like to do is get a, a gas saver, which is basically a, a valve that's operated by the, the weight of the torch. And when you use that, then you just you pick up the torch and you light it, get it all set up the way you want it. You put it back down on the gas saver. It turns this off. The gas saver can be plumbed in with propane or acetylene for lighting it. But uh, then that becomes another thing where you might need to put a flashback arrestor on. So uh, if you use one of these, you could just have it sitting on the gas saver and you put it down. You're good to go. So if you're in a, a stationary location, if you're doing jewelry work, that's a pretty common setup that you've got. But uh, you could always put this on a magnet and uh, move it around the uh, job site. So anyway, thanks for watching.